Hey, it's Lee, and I'm going to show you today how to do some geocoding with Google. They've got a new uh, viz.gl slash react Google Maps package, and it's really easy, and they provide you some hooks to load the geocoding service and go from a, a string address, like wherever you live, and change that into latitude and longitude so you can pop it on a map and stuff like that. So I've got some videos coming out on Google's channel, but this will just be a little one for my channel showing geocoding. The first thing we need to do, um, we are working inside of Next.js. We've got the imports already here. We're going to be using use effect and use state. And then from React Google Maps, we're going to use the API provider and a use maps library hook. And it should be sort of all in about 50-ish lines. So it's not, a, it's not a huge thing. So we've got this uh, geocoding here. And if we look at the page, we're outputting that. And so we want to replace this and we want to use the API provider and that will go and load us the Google Maps scripts. For that to work though, you need to give the API key. Otherwise, uh, they won't know sort of who this belongs to and you'll, you'll be restricted sort of in the, in, the, in the free zone. So we're gonna put in here process.env and I have a next public Google Maps API key. And sort of in here, what it's gonna do is render this once it's loaded um, the API. So we're going to render out a little geocoding component that doesn't yet exist. So we're going to get a big fat error on the screen, but we can come back and fix that. So we'll just do a function geocoding like this. And why don't we just return the string geocoding again? Cool. So we're up and running. Come back. And the first thing we want to do now is sort of... Um, Use the use maps library hook and that will go we can tell it to go load the geocoding um, package So we'll say oh, you know what I'm gonna turn off um, Copilot Disable completions because it's a little bit annoying although It's really nice for for working, but it's not so good for videos All right, so we're gonna put this into a variable and we're gonna call it the geocoding API loaded and we'll call the use maps library. And the one we want is geocoding. So with this, what we're gonna do is basically use a hook to hook into um, when it's loaded so that we can then instantiate the geocoder. So we're gonna call use effect right here. We're gonna pass in that and our, our depths will just be this geocoding API loaded. And what we can do here is we can say, um, if not geocoding API loaded, just early return. And if it is there, we can um, instantiate the geocoding library and we need a, a place to put that instance of it. So we're gonna put some state up here. So we'll call this the geocoding service and set geocoding service. And this will be use state. And we'll, we'll set the type on this in a second because right now it doesn't know. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna call set geocoding service and we're going to instantiate window.google.maps.geocoder and we can do this because it's gone uh, this use maps library it's gone and loaded that script that we need to be able to do this all right it's given me an error uh, and i think it's just um, just a typescript thing so the type that this is giving us is that so we can just come back here uh, do you put it there? No, you put it here. Cool. And that makes everything happy. And now it knows it's either going to be undefined because it hasn't been set yet or the Google Maps geocoder. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start to return some information about what's happening. So if there's no geocoding service, oops, geocoding, if I could spell geocoding service, we're going to output, uh, so we'll just do a return here. We'll say div of loading, dot, 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 like that. And if we get down here, we're going to start to do our geocoding. So you see loading for a split second as it's instantiating and loading the script. We're good to go, though, if we get past that if statement. So when we have our geocoding service, we now want to take an address and convert that into latitude and longitude. So we need a little bit more state. So we're going to set that up right here. So the first state we're going to need is our geocoding result. And then set geocoding 
result. And that will also be use state. And we'll just set up the, the TypeScript for this now. It's google.maps.geocoder result. Like that. And we're going to store our address itself in state. Now, technically, I'm never going to change this, so we didn't need to put it in state. But just to sort of set this up, if you ever wanted to take this and take user input and geocode it anytime that changes or if it's coming from somewhere else. So address and just to show you could set this, but underscore meaning we're not going to call this. And we're going to say use state and we'll, we'll set this sort of right downtown Toronto. So 10 Front Street, Toronto, like that. Cool. So what we can do here is we'll do another use effect. So if I could type. So the things we're watching to see when they change, one would be the geocoding service. This needs to be sort of ready to go, has a value. And we're also using address in here, and so we'll put that. So we'll start with a, a little early return. So if there's no geocoding service, just get out of here. We're not ready yet for this code. Um, I suppose you could say, or if there's no address return. We know there's always an address, but just to, just to be safe. So if that's true, what do we want to do? We want to use the actual geocoding service. So we'll do that dot geocode. And you need to pass in an address just like that inside of um, an object. And it's going to give you a callback, and the callback is going to give you two things, the results and a status. Now, both of those need to sort of be good to, to be sure that we've given an address and we've gotten back latitude and longitude. So we're going to say if results and status is a st string of OK, like that. So why don't we just console log this out? Results, just to see what we're working with here. So we'll go into our, our tools, console. So here we have um, an array of one address. So it's given us one result. And it's given us a nice formatted address. That's the full address. You see it, it added in the postal code. We also have geometry, and that can get us the location which gives us latitude and longitude. And that's what we need to, to pop this onto a map. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take the first result and we'll put that into geocoding result, results zero, like that. So now what we can say here is um, if there is no geocoding result, uh, we're going to assume it's doing geocoding. So we'll do geocoding dot, dot, dot. We want a div, not a dov. Sweet. And down in here, we can output out some information. Here's where you could show this, this marker on a map, or you could do whatever you want with it, the latitude and longitude. We're just going to render this out. So first will be geocoding result dot formatted address, like that. So we get the, the nice full address at the top. And then we'll show the latitude and longitude just in a, in a P. So we'll do latitude first, and that's the geocoding result dot, and I believe it was geometry dot location dot lat, and lat is a function, so you need to make sure to call that function. I'm not going to type all that out again, so we're going to go longitude location dot lng. I always want to do lon, but it's lng. So if we come back. We go loading to geocoding really quick, and then we get our result, and we've got 10 Front Street, and then latitude and longitude, and we could put a pin on a map, we could put an info box, or an info window on a map, a marker, whatever we want. Or we could send this to the back end, and we could store this in our database for, for lookup later on. Hope you enjoyed that video. Take care. Bye.